What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So, Bridge Roth thing every now and then will pop up on the internet, man. And today he did it again. Popped up on the internet on uh, I believe this this either Twitter or Instagram. Oh. Shouts out to Black Sheep Media, Slim Coleon. I guess he back on. Um, so he uh. Took some screenshots of Bridge Roth thing talking to a fan. And this is what Bridge had to say. One of the fans, I'm going to say your name too, fan. Shouts out to Nemo the Hero. So Nemo the Hero say, bruh, we need you back, man. We need you. Bridge say to Nemo, look, I know, bro, but I'm done. They ain't appreciate me for real, for real to begin with. And they turned they back without hearing from me. I'm done. Well, he's talking about the fans. Some people may speculate that he might be talking about Cave Gang or something, but he's talking about the fans. When he say they ain't appreciate me for real, for real to begin with and turn they back without hearing from me, talking about the fans. Talking about how, how a fan, because he go on a little deeper in this situation, and uh, this is what he said after that. Um, uh, immediately after that, then this is what he said. Um, another dude come on and say, Nigga, if you were serious about this money, you would be in the ring. Forget a feature. Go get that easy money from the league. Briz respond. Battle rap is fake, dog. A bunch of fake bros backstabbing each other. Stabbing each other in the back every time they turn around. The fans is mad at Briz because they say I spoke about Mook dead moms. So go ask them brothers to book Mook. Y'all don't miss Mook? F Briz. That's what he said after that. That's what Briz said after that. So, well, let me just let me just let me just clear something up for you, Briz, just so you know. First of all, the fans didn't turn their back on you. And for you to say that, bro, stop acting like you not stop acting like you dumb. You, let me tell you something. You got your own fan base, right? You have your own following, right? How many people you got on your Instagram? How many people you got on your Twitter? You have your own supporters that support you, that rock with you, that like you. That's why you your own brand. Stop trying to make it appear like every fan have to like you because they don't. Just like for me. I got my own supporters of Battle Truth uh, fans that watch me. But some other people like other people and don't like me because of other people. Like I just said in one blog, I didn't like Biggie Small because Pac liked it him. I mean, because he was against Pac. Because him and Pac was rivaling. Even though I don't know nothing about Biggie Small personally. That's how brainwashed and fools we can be at times. Where we get too involved that we make this stuff too personal. When it shouldn't even be that way at all. But that's exactly what happened with me. Same thing with you, fam. You your own brand. What about your what about your supporters? What about your fan base? So, because some people don't sum, because you're not speaking for the whole battle rap community. And and, and 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 please do not let the bloggers get to you. Not me or no Piper Boy or Angry Fan or Butterflies. Don't let none of us get to you, brother. Because at the end of the day, you your own brand, your own entity. Look. You a hell of a good battle rapper, brother. You one of the best to ever do it. Stop being so emotional, brother. Get up out of your body. Man the hell up, dude. Man the hell up. It happens, bro. It happens. And when you're in the streets and you're in the field, eventually you're going to take a ass whooping, especially if you're active in the streets. Eventually. Well, let me change that. That's not really true for everybody. But it happens. No big deal. No big deal, bro. But stop making it seem as though everybody against you. Ain't nobody against you, brother. Ain't nobody against you, man. In fact, let me tell you fans something. He not done. He'll be back, y'all. He ain't turning down that battle. He he look, they booking that moot battle for him. It's, hell, it's already booked. So he coming back. Don't 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 let that fool y'all. But let me just tell you something, Briz. The fans were mad at you because you disrespecting Mook Mama. That's why when you were disrespecting his mama in the battle, people were clapping and cheering it on. It wasn't about that. 
no big deal. The physical contact is what made things go, go crazy and out of control. But it's battle rap. But you made it worse when you tried to act as if you had no knowledge of it. And that's what made y'all look bad because then this community, some of the people in it went back to when y'all was giving a man condolences on his mama death. But even still, it's battle rap. At the end of the day, nobody really cares. Do you, you do know that, right? Nobody really cares. So that don't mean nothing. And people going to talk regardless. You know that. You know people going to talk regardless. If you do something good, people still going to say something bad about you. You do something bad, people going to say something about you. So guess what? One thing we do learn, you can't stop people from talking good or bad because they're going to do it anyway. They're going to do it anyway. So don't let that bother you, brother. Stop being so emotional, man. And you can't get mad at the fans. You need to be mad at your team and crew that stood there and watched that happen to you and didn't assist you in it when they promised and told you they had your back. That's what you need to be mad at. But y'all so backwards, it ain't even funny. You would get mad at the fans who you don't know rather than the dudes who you do know. You don't know me. You don't know none of us. Really, none of us bloggers. You don't know none of these fans or none of that. But you do know the guys you smoke with. You do know the guys you done went in cars and ate with and Ubered with and drove to events with. You know them. So who more at fault? The ones you know or the ones you don't know? So stop blaming the fans. Stop blaming us for stupid stuff. Stop blaming the community because it ain't nobody's fault. When you mess up and do something wrong, the only person you have to blame is yourself. So be man enough to accept your own responsibility, live and learn from it, and move the hell on. Big deal. You're a grown man. You're not a child. You're not a kid. Nobody got to pacify you, brother, burp you, man. Big deal. Okay. I talked about his dead mama. Ain't this battle rap? Ain't this what battle rap is about? You think I'm the first one to ever talk about somebody dead mama? Hell, I ain't no telling what he was going to talk about mine. So I beat him to the punch. And simple as that. But at the end of the day, nobody cares. But it's shameful for you to say that and turn your back on your own supporters, your own followers, and the people that do rock with you. What about them? They don't count for nothing. All them years of being with you, supporting you, buying tickets to events just to see you, wanting your autograph, wanting you to do features, listening to your music, downloading your in your music, downloading your interviews. They don't count for nothing. Is you that selfish and ungrateful, brother? Come on, man. Stop. These, these let me tell you something. Let me tell you another thing. A lot of these fans doing the comments. A lot of these fans in the comment bridge, for the most part, they'll come at you and attack you on purpose because they figure that's how they get your attention. And I'm going to keep it real with you. To some degree, that do work sometimes. It seems like when the people who showing you love and everything, you appreciate, you appreciate it. But when somebody lashing out at you and saying something bad about you or coming at you, you tend to want to address that one, though. You tend to want to address that one and feed that one more. So think about your real fans, the ones who actually do support you, the ones who actually do ride for you. Think about them and stop focusing so much on the little negative people that don't like you. Because overall, you got more people who do like you than people who don't like you. Get that through your head so nobody turns their back on you. You, look, in order for somebody to turn their back on you, they had to like you first. So here's my question to you that I want to propose to you. Name me some fans of yours that you thought really had your back and was with you that went against you that you thought had your back. You got to put some names out there, brother. You just can't throw things out there. Right. So you got to think about that. But at the end of the day, man, this is Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. Click the link in the description box, man, and join me on my Patreon, man. It's a lot of fire material over there, man. You're going to love it. I just released a new song over there called Karma. Check it out. Tell me what you think, man. And I just did another episode of um, 
page and chapters of my life, along with 10 other blogs that I dropped. Also, um, shouts out to everybody that watch and support me, man. Click the link in the description box, man, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Shouts out to my sponsor, Josh, the founder of the Strict Dad Foundation with better parents, make better children for a better world. Click the link in the description box to both the Facebook and Instagram. It's inside of my description box. Follow and like both those channels and pages. And this your boy Battle Truth. And ain't my judgment, that's a question. It's yours.